Hello uh, guys. So in this video, um, we have learned some properties of exponential and log functions. So here are some questions for us to do, examples um, for us to do. So in question one, we just want to evaluate this. Okay. Uh, log the base 2 of 8, log the base of 1 over 4, um, 64. All right. And then these are the ones. So, I mean, if you're interested, you can just pause the video and then try this um, before you look at the solutions. Okay? Alright, so we want to look at question number one A log to the base 2 of 8. Note that we can write 8 as 2 raised to the power 3. Right? And using one of the laws, you can bring this 3 down here. So this can be written as 3 log to the base 2 of 2. But log to the base a of 8 is 1. So log to the base 2 of 2 is 1 as well. So this is 1 times 3, and that is equal to 2. Okay? So this says that if you take 2 raised to the power 3, you get 8, which makes sense from the definition of logarithms. Alright? Good. Then we have B for question one. We have log the base one over four of sixty-four. Well, remember we had um, one of the properties that says if you don't want to deal with the fraction, then this you can rewrite it at the base four, right? So this is negative log to the base four of sixty-four. But notice that sixty-four is the same as 4 raised to the power 3. So this is negative log to the base 4 of 4 raised to the power 3. For you. Alright? So now this 3 can be brought down here. And I have log base 4 of 4, which is 1. So this gives me negative 3. Alright? Good. Good. So this says that 1 over 4 raised to the power negative 3 should give us 64, which is true. You can check that. Okay, good. Let's look at question 2. Question 2, we just want to simplify this, right? That, that was use the laws of logarithms to, to rewrite this. That is all I want to do. Okay, so question 2. Um, we have... Lin, lin by the way is log the base e. If I did not mention that, okay. So lin is the same as log the base e. That is called a natural logarithm, okay. And also, if you see log s without any base, that is a common logarithm. That is base ten. Always assume that it is base ten if no base is written, okay. If no no base is written. Then we have a common, common log, common logarithm. Okay, good. So, lin, lin of this root x squared y is the same as lin or log to the base e of x squared y. The square root is the same as y to the power one half. Okay, so means you can bring this half down here to get mean of x squared y. Okay, it's a product, so we can split it. We can rewrite it as half. If you want, you can put a bracket here. This we can write as mean x squared plus mean y. Mean y is fine, but this we can rewrite, right? You can bring the two down here. So this is one half, two, then x plus then y. You can multiply through by two, one, two cancels, and that's between x plus a half, then y. Okay? And so that is how you can rewrite this in a much simpler form. Okay. B, we want to combine these guys, right? That's how we simplify it. By using the, um, the 
properties of logarithms. So we have two that would be log two log x. There's no base here, so you assume that is um, the step log y. If what well, well, I can take the two up here, so I can rewrite it as log x squared, right? The two can come up here. Okay, minus log y. I can bring the five on top of the one using the logs again. Now because it's subtraction, I can write this as a division, right? This is the log x squared all over y Okay. And that is how we can we can simplify this. Just by using the um, the laws of logarithms. Good. Let's move on. Move on to um, move on to question three. Question three says lin x is two and lin y is lin y is four. You want to find this. Alright? So you want to write this in such a way that you have an x appearing and then y as well. Then you can stick these numbers in okay, and compute the result. So question 3, a, then square root x, y squared. I'll be fast here. We've done a similar one already. This is a half, right, into then x plus 2. Okay, so that is half, then well, half, then x, we know what then x is, then x is 2, then y is 4, 2 times 4 is 8, so half is 10 divided by 2 is equal to 5. So we get 5. Alright? Then let's quickly finish up with this one. B B you have lean cube root, right? Cube root is x y raised to the power this, right? This I can rewrite as one third into lean x of lean x and y will be lean x. So this can be written as one third, then x is two, then y is four, this is six, divided by three, that is equal to two. Okay, so that is for this. Then five, we just apply the loss and express this, right? As we've done already, we have combined them, so we can easily do that. So four, we have log the a of x to the power three y squared v to the power five. We can rewrite this as well log the b of x to the power three y squared minus right log the b a of b raised to the power five. Okay. Product, so we can rewrite this as log a of x cubed plus log a of y squared, and this will give us 3 log ax plus 2 log ay minus 5 can come here, 5 log ab. And that is it if I'm um, looking it down into its simplest, simplest form as sums and differences. Alright? Okay, so I'll come your way and then we'll look at some equations on exponential and logarithm.